Hi guys, EVP Man with Tablets for Me. And today we're going to do an unboxing review of a four port USB wall charger for all your electronic devices. And this is brought to us by Inatech. So in the box, you'll find an instruction manual and you'll find your uh, Inatech four port charger. Now let's take a look at the charger itself just for a couple seconds. Now, uh, the charger is intended to be portable. And what you'll find is if we look at the back here, you'll see that you have your electrical plug uh, folds away, which is a nice feature because if you're a business person or a student, um, and most of us carry multiple devices, a smartphone with a tablet, you don't have to worry about carrying two power bricks. All you have to do is worry about carrying one. And this easily folds away so that it doesn't get away and, um, in the way and it doesn't really bend in any in any way. So again, um, easy and nice convenient feature that uh, it, it slides up and tucks away nicely there. In the front what you'll find is you have four ports. Um, and they serve the same function but they have different power settings. Now the first two here at the top are what uh, what are labeled as superchargers. Uh, these are going to give a maximum output of 2.4 amps. So, if you think about what would you plug here? Well, you could plug virtually any device here, um, even though your device may not accept that high charge because there's technology um, inside of this charger that actually regulates the output so that you don't really have to worry about damaging your, your smartphone or your tablet. But what is recommended is that the larger devices, the ones that have the higher battery capacities that take longer to charge go here because um, this is going to charge, the output is going to charge it much faster than it does with your normal ports. So things like the iPad, the iPad mini, um, the Samsung Galaxy tabs, the Note 3, right? The Note 2s, your Nexus tablets. Um, larger tablets and, and larger phones, I'd definitely put here. But this will also work with your smaller phones. Um, I've plugged in, for example, my Samsung Galaxy S3, my S4, and my S5, and even uh, my uh, Apple um, iPhone 4 and 5 charge here without any problem. So you can use this area as well. Now, the universal plugs that you see here basically. Um, Get, provide a different level of output, a maximum output of one amp. Uh, so, uh, but it, once again, you could plug in your iPad one through three, your iPad Air, um, your other devices here as well. The only difference is that it's going to be charging at a slower amperage, right? Because 2.4 total coming from each one as a max, and this one's going to output one amp each. So it'll just charge a little bit slower, but you won't worry about harming anything. The actual LED here will light up, letting you know that you're charging, that you have no problems. This is not a surge protector, so I would always recommend plugging it into a surge protector. And what you're going to get is a total of 6 amps out. So this is a 30 watt 6 amp charger. And if you ask yourself, well, what does that mean to me? It means that if you have all these plugs used, um, it's going to distribute the power accordingly based on your device to provide up to 6 amps of output. So um, in some cases, some ports may run a little bit slower than others. But like, once again, it's going to allow you to carry one charger as opposed to four. Let's take a look at how it charges multiple devices as we plug it in to some of the devices used in the market today. All right, so I'm going to show you how the actual charger works. And again, part of the mess because it's kind of hard to get so many different devices uh, charged on one desk. So here I have a surge protector, um, and I have here our four port charger from Minitech and I have several cables connected to it. So first what I have is a uh, standard micro USB charging cable and we'll get that in camera right there so there's my standard one. I also then have here for my Galaxy S5 I have a USB 3.0 charging cable. I have for my tablet, I have a, an iPad mini that will charge. Here's a connection for an iPad mini. Um, and also I have an iPhone here that we can show how that works as well. And um, that would be our, our four uh, connections. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is just to show you, we'll go ahead and plug in the, uh, the mini. I'll turn this off because I had the auto on. And so here's the mini and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And you notice that it says it's now charging. So that works, no problem. I'm going to put the iPhone to charge. We'll leave this guy charging since it's easier to keep it here. 
the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and plug in a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. So I'm just going to grab, again, that uh, micro USB cable that we have right here, this one right here, and I'm going to plug it into the tablet. And you'll notice that it will come up. Um, we're just now charging. Here's our little uh, charging symbol. Let's make sure that it's in focus. You can see that right there. It's charging. So I'm going to put that right there. I have another cable here that I can use, which is another micro USB cable. Um, and this one I'm going to connect to a S4 to charge. Okay, And we'll see it will start up and it's uh, charging. Okay, this one was completely dead as you can see right there. So this one's charging. And the last one I'm going to put to charge is a Samsung Galaxy uh, uh, S5. And I'm going to be using a USB uh, 3.0 cable for that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And you'll notice this one too is charging. You can see that right there. So I have four devices charging. All four of them are charging using one charging brick. So that was my review of the Unitech 4-port USB charger. As you could see through the video, I think it's a, it's an awesome value, a great solution that allows you to charge multiple devices at the same time. If you have any comments or questions about this device or anything else on our YouTube channel, please leave your comments and questions on it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and also don't forget to, to share. Thanks again.